Hello and welcome back to Incredible Inverse and Other Animals with me, Phil. And in today's video, we're going to do an update on this naturalistic live planted enclosure as it does have an inhabitant now. So I'm also going to have a little update on this and show you what it's looking like now. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so here we have the update of my naturalistic uh, live planted enclosure. So this is the one that sits behind me um, or next to my sofa so you often see it uh, yeah, behind me in my videos and stuff so you can see the plants are growing in quite nicely and there is an inhabitant in here so at the top left here is my uh, giant dead leaf mantis or Deroplasis trochata so um, I've been here uh, for a few weeks now so I've got this at the, uh, the April IHS uh, Doncaster show from the spider shop um if you saw my uh, my pickups video you would have seen that i got that and that i intended to stick in this enclosure um also if you want to see how i built this enclosure as well i will uh, i'll hopefully find the card and put the card up uh up here for it no but yeah so it's been growing in for i say it has been growing in for a few months now um i've had it up for a fair fairly long time now actually and i like to when I'm doing a live planted setup, if I can, is to leave it empty for a while. Um, so I have to allow the plants to settle in. Um, they've had to trim back once. I've had to take some out and put some in. Um, as of which you would have seen if you'd watched yeah, the build video, I actually included an, uh, sort of an update in that initially. So, but here you can see the uh, yeah the, the mantis, absolutely stunning species of prey mantis. Um, as having utilizes a lot of the enclosure and um, which is really nice so in the mornings it's normally in the the, uh, the front right hand corner most mornings uh watching me eat my breakfast sort of thing and then uh, goes to sleep within the uh, the foliage at night quite often um and i find it wandering around every now and then doesn't necessarily use the branches as much so, um, but certainly i do see in the foliage so foliage consists of this petonia here so this is one of the newer plants are stuck in it's doing all right this um i think it's a type of begonia it's going this seems to be doing okay um it's growing a little bit which is nice um i did add a new air plant into here which again this seems to be doing all right so far so um this uh, calafia has grown at least one new leaf um which is nice so there's a nice uh, tall new leaf on it so that's growing quite nicely so um and then yeah the sort of the pothos, the silver or satin pothos, um, yeah, it's growing nicely as well, as is the pile of palm. So, so those, I actually probably need a bit of a trim again soon, um, but that's nice, you know, that's all part of keeping a live planted enclosure. Now, I'm saying live planted rather than bioactive. This is not a bioactive enclosure. I haven't added any kind of springtails or ice pods or anything like that yet. So I may do. Um, but I may not, and even if I do, it will still be just a live planted enclosure. Just adding spring tiles and ice pods does not make an enclosure bioactive. So it can take many months uh, to actually create, you know, or to get the, the substrate bioactive. Anyway, just yeah, tossing in some uh, ice pods and spring tiles does, doesn't really do much necessarily, but I may add some in just for added interest. But here's the, uh, the mantis again. Uh, just yeah, in amongst the foliage so like i say it does move around quite a bit around the top um but as i i don't really see it on any of the branches all too often mainly on the foliage um all around the top and they will go under the light and then out of the light so the light over it is just an arcadia jungle dawn led uh, plant lamp so um and yeah like i say sometimes it'll be underneath it sometimes it'll come out and it's got that choice if it wants to be under the light or not but yeah so far so good i'm really liking this enclosure okay guys so that's my update of my naturalistic life planted enclosure um with my dead giant deadly plants isn't it what do you guys think if you did like this video please do give it a thumbs up pop some comments down below as well and if you haven't yet please do consider subscribing to the channel and hit that bell for notifications so you know next time i upload another video also do please follow me over on instagram and tiktok i'm posting there almost or trying to every day something little <coughs> something here and there <coughs> maybe a little video or some photos so 
And also, uh, please remember, I do have a merch store if that's something that does interest you. Links to all that is down below in the description. Um, please do go ahead and take a look if that interests you. But until next time, guys, take care, stay safe, and keep rocking.